program ULIT. I am Nur Azan, pleased to be your host for today. For your information, Brush Up is a virtual professional skills training program by ULIT, which consists of three different talk sessions at different time segments with various topics to choose from in hopes to help undergraduates improve and upgrade their professional skills to the next level. These sessions will introduce you to a variety of soft and professional skills in which you will be able to utilize in the future working environment and also for the use of self-improvement. And in today's session, we will be discussing on the topic Basic Computer Skills Productivity Software. Computer Literacy, the definition behind why we should use it, getting to know the basics and why having intricate knowledge of computer programs is important in your future. Hopefully, our session today will enlighten more people on the importance of computer literacy and why it is a considerably important skill to possess in this ever-growing digital era. Before I introduce our speaker today, here are some friendly reminders to all general viewers in the meeting room. Firstly, for those joining us in the meeting room, please switch off your microphone and camera during this session to avoid any disruptions during the event. Second, to all Uniten students, be sure to key in your details in the link pinned in the comment section before you go. You will be getting score on point for participation if you do so. Third, you may post relevant questions to our speakers during the Q&A session. Let me explain how you can talk to us during the event. If you have any questions or uncertainties, you may type them in the comment box provided and if you choose to verbally convey your questions in the meeting room, you may do so by clicking the hand icon provided at the top and we will call out your name during the Q&A session for you to ask your questions to the speaker. Last but not least, do share our live session with your friends and peers so that they too can join and gain insights from today's session. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our honorable speaker for today. Today's speaker is well known for his contribution in research, learning, and also teaching. With a bachelor's degree in engineering at Hochschule Hannover, University of Applied Science, Hannover, Germany, and a master's degree in electrical engineering from University of Naga National itself, our speaker is most definitely a force to be reckoned with. His role in education ranges from head of unit assistant lecturer and overseas student affairs officer, electrical engineer, and, and so much more. Our speaker has also been actively involved in, involved in multiple research projects in industrial automation, fabrication and testing, robotic programming, and has also published multiple research articles regarding the niche area. An educator by profession, an archer during his free time, our speaker today also enjoys archering as an ample time activity and particularly aims to provide assistance to his students in his many areas of expertise. Without further ado, I would like to invite Sir Ahmad Rafi Muhammad Khairuddin to present his session for today. Please welcome. Say you mute your. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Nur Azian, for introducing me. Oh, so, so many praises. Okay. Uh, and I can see that some of you are uh, new student foundation diploma. Uh, some of your now name is familiar to me. Okay. Thank you guys for coming uh, to this session. Okay. So I would like to share my slideshow. So uh, today evening is basically is regarding uh, basic computer skills. Okay, so this is me. This is my picture in Germany uh, before I graduate during the winter. Okay, so everybody can see my slides, right? Okay. Yes. So, so this is uh, some of my working uh, background. So currently I'm lecturer in Unit 10, teaching programming, industrial automation, circuit, electronics, electrical instruction and physics for diploma and foundation. Previously foundation, but now it's concentrated fully on the 
diploma program. And previously, I'm working as a pegawai sembilan harian uh, under Education Malaysia for Middle East program before the Middle East crisis. After that, I uh, go to Unit 10. And then, and previously, in during my time in Germany, I'm also part time working as a Deutsche Post International DHL, and of course, uh, working as a Netrada Hanover Germany. That is like a Lazada uh, company in Germany. Okay, so my hobbies is photography, live streaming, and archery. So today, basically, I will going to talk about some of the software uh, browser apps that normally used for the working and also when I'm uh, learning uh, in Germany and also when I'm studying in Unit 10 for my master and uh, PhD program. OK, so like I said, uh, we are not just focusing on the academic part, but also for the curriculum, meaning outside of your normal working environments. OK, so my my passion is photography, live streaming and archery. OK, if you only focusing on your job, then you will be stressed, especially for engineering students. OK, um, but now I think German, uh, engineering students also like to play games. Right, like uh, the latest. Is PUBG Among Us and I think LOL or something like that. OK. So uh, what is productivity software? Um, basically, the layman's term is basically to make our working and personal tasks easier and more efficient. OK, and sometimes this software can be used as directly and sometimes indirectly for our work. OK, for instance, uh, I can see that some of the students in Unit 10 have problems using their words for their formatting. Maybe they do not understand the uh, tips or the button that need to be pressed to execute some of the process. OK. Basically, and this productivity software is not just a software, but it can also be as browser plugin to services. OK. Basically, it's just to help you maintain the relationships uh, working uh, with the working environment and also outside of the working environments. OK. So the types of productivity that is exists in the internet or in the world basically have three types, which is a personal productivity for you, maybe uh, some calendar to remind you what to do, what to do next, and then business and office apps. OK, and then some collaboration apps, meaning some working, some uh, presentation that can be shared through the internet. So this is uh, what we will cover today. Lah, OK, and basically what I'm sharing is basically what I'm using currently and why is it important for me? OK, uh, so I will not talk about uh, something that I'm not uh, familiar of or I'm. So this is what I'm currently use for my daily working and before I'm going to the uh, office. OK. So this is um, basically why this product is software cover. Basically, it's just to systematically uh, systematic your life and your schedule and your presentations because uh, most of this uh, productivity software can help you improve your presentable. Of course, some student nowadays because everything is online now. So of course, they need to learn about how to use your computer and software. So this will be something that cover. OK. Uh, especially when you are using your most of the time using your computer or apps, your handphone. So this can help you make it more presentable. Of course, this does not include the internet connection. Eh? So there is nothing that can help help you. And of course, this software also can reduce your time, especially some of the software. Uh, because, um, for example, for content, some of you need to calculate by hand or by your eyes to calculate what is the page number and so on. So I will teach you how to make your reports, your uh, Excel file or presentation much more easier and can reduce your times uh, for the long terms. OK, so this is most of the software. So basically what I'm going to do, this is just uh, some of the software that I will cover. OK, because I only allow for one hour, so Maybe I will not cover all, but 
I will just uh, share some of the tips. OK, so I will cover regarding words, Excel, PowerPoint. Basically, this is a Microsoft Office. And I'm not sure whether you are uh, you know that uh, Uniton also uh, give student the Windows Office 365. This is uh, because this is uh, included in your Microsoft team access. So you can uh, and then you, maybe you have some uh, OneDrive access. OK, and then I will talk about your Google Drive. So Google Drive, that is this Docs, uh, Sheets, Slides and Form. Basically, Google Drive is just uh, similar to Word, Excel and PowerPoint, but it can be via online. OK, everything must have their own uh, safe or cloud safe, cloud storage. OK. And then I will talk about uh, a little bit about Photoshop, Lightrooms, uh, Photo My Wall, Canvas. Uh, this one is for uh, graphic design because sometimes you need to make a poster. OK, and then this is StreamYard. Basically, StreamYard is also for live streaming. If you are planning to make uh, use of your Facebook Live or YouTube Live or any other live uh, streaming apps, OK, and I will talk to you about Grammarly. What is Grammarly? Basically, Grammarly is how you can uh, make sure that your grammar is correct. OK, and of course, there are some uh, services that need to be buy, need to be bought first, and then, but I will only focus on the free version. Quillbot, OK, Quillbot, mind map, uh, how to do the mind map via online. And then we have the flowchart design, and then you know, welcome, welcome, and then Dropbox Mega OneDrive Cloud Piece. Okay. So first, uh, we'll talk about this words file. Okay. So uh, this is uh, some example of my student uh, giving me their scholarships. Okay. OK, so this is my uh, reference. Uh, OK, so for example, normally this is what you typically see when you are uh, referencing letter for scholarships. OK, if you this is one student that write a paper to the. To the company, OK, so just I want to just to share you how to improve this uh, uh, paper. So for instance, you can start with, you can see that this one does not align correctly. Okay, meaning the spacing, this one have one spacing, but this one do not have spacings between the uh, lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will select all first. Okay, so this one is, you can see that this one is line and paragraph spacing. This one will allow us to make use of the spacing between the line so make it much more easier so normally is 1.15 is good enough okay and then so everything is 1.15 so if something that does not then we can just make it as no spacing first okay make it normal like this and then you can adjust this one center select back okay so this one will be 1.15 okay and then you can see that this report must be justified. OK, so you can see that this is file home insert. So for home in the paragraph sections, so you have aligned to the right to the left, center, aligned to the right, and then this is justified. So normally for formal letter, for a normal application or formal uh, letter to your company, it is better to justify the paragraph. OK, so you just click here to make it much more uh, formal. OK, you can see that this one will be aligned to the to the left and to the right, to the right and then to the left. OK. OK, so this one. And then, of course, when you are submitting this one, OK, you can also use the second part, which is Grammarly, OK? Because this one, Grammarly, is can be used to make it your wording much more easy. Of course, you can uh, install it as a, uh, apps to the words, again, to make it 
much more easy. But today, but currently I'm focusing on the uh, words only. Okay, so you have this one. Justify. So I I like to emphasize on this justify because normally student when they are using your when you are writing your report, they forgot to justify the paragraph. Okay. Of course the uh, lecturer can read, but it is uh it is uh, required for the student to make it justify. Okay, justification. Okay, next I'm going to show you my, the reports. Okay, how to improve some of the reports. So for instance, this is the template reports that, uh, okay, yeah, I need to find the report back. Okay, this is the reports, where my reports, okay. Okay, this is the report that is sent to me by my students. Of course, this is normally what the student will do content they have their own uh, table and whatnot okay they have this 1.01 introduction 1.1 introduction and so on okay but again uh, this is for the words part i'm going to teach you today is the how to do the content part okay because this is the beginner right so just uh with me okay so first you have your this one okay so normally this student basically they manually put down the date and times okay the the page numbers oh, manually okay, so what we are going to do we are going to insert okay page number at the bottom of the page okay you're using insert page number at the bottom and then you're going to the normally to the right hand side okay something like this okay now we are focusing on how to do the content part okay so normally to add a contents okay to make a content first we need to go to the reference part okay so draw okay so first the first uh, line interface basically home is where you can put your font and everything so i think you all already familiar with this okay your insert okay you can insert picture and whatnot Okay, draw is basically if you have a Wacom or uh, tablet, you can use this one. But right? this one is basically installed using a Foxy Trader. Okay, normally for lecture, we are required to have this to mark your paper online. And of course, if you are working and everything must be online, so it's better to also that, that the student uh, prepare yourself to buy a tablet. Okay. Okay, and then uh, you have your design to design the layout and everything. Layout to change the layout, you can change the margin. Okay, this one is to change no margin, custom margin, office layout, mirror, white, moderate, orientation, uh, project or landscape. The size, normally the size is A4. Columns is basically if you want to add two columns, normally is we put one for reports. Okay, but I want to focus on this reference part. Okay, so how to do this one? We put a uh, reference table of content. Okay, so this is uh, the typical formatting of our content. Okay, so this one will help the student to improve their own content here. Okay, because uh, I also asked my student to join this class to these sessions. Okay, so this is our content. So of course, we can change this format later on. Okay, as you can see that the contents, no table of content entries are found. So how to add this table of entries? Okay, so first we delete this part. Okay, you can delete this. Okay, so first you can select this chapter one. Okay, introduction chapter one. You can select this one and we insert this as our heading. Okay, heading. This one will be our heading here. Of course, you can, if you want to remove this one, this one will not have the heading, only the chapter one will be the heading. Okay. Heading chapter one. Of course, you can change the format of your heading. So, for instance, you, you right click and you modify the sentence. Okay, you can make it as center and everything, and then you okay. Okay, and then this one, this one will be the second heading. 
Okay, the second heading. Okay, this one will also will be the second heading. Okay. After you do the this heading, okay, so you can right click here, and this found, and then we update the format. Then straight away we already half hour the first content chapter one one point one, and then this is the page numbers. Okay, this will help you if you sometimes uh, forgot the position of your page number. So for instance, if you change the position of this, for example, here chapter two. Uh, or uh, can you see that this problem statement? Okay, if you put this as insert, you page break, meaning this now is a new page. Now this one is supposed to be in page five. So the program will not automatically update your content page numbers. So you need to right click here and then you update the field. Okay, update the entire field. So this one will update to five. Five. Of course, you need to do for all the chapters to make it much more appropriate. Then you can delete this old method of using manual process to make the content. Okay. And of course, before I forget, normally students forget about this caption functions. Okay. So for picture or table, for picture, normally the caption will be at the bottom of your picture. So right click here and then you need to add captions okay oh you can add caption okay so this one uh, okay okay this is picture okay normally we can add caption but for some reason i cannot okay and then table normally we put at the top okay so you right click here you can put this as insert captions okay so table one table so this one above selected or below selected normally for table we put above with the selected items for picture we put as uh, below the selected items okay and then you try test okay so this will be the the numbers here okay and then you can use this one as your reference point so this is regarding uh Words. Okay, this is what I'm going to teach you about words. For Excel, uh, next is your Excel part. Okay, so Excel basically is a software that is used when you have a multiple uh, data. Okay, basically you can insert any if you have your data. For instance, I have this. Uh, oh, this is my compilation results. Uh, oh. I cannot show you this one. This is private and confidential. But I can show you this one. Okay. This is oh no. So this one I can show you uh AGND1044. Okay, so everything uh, I put this in my uh, folder here. Okay, result me terms, Mr. One. Okay, 1044, Mr. One, twenty twenty, coronavirus and everything. Uh, final paper examinations okay and this is the checklist this is the distributions okay so normally for excel is currently used for the for for data handling okay so this is normally student uh, cannot appreciate this one so normally this one the benefit of Excel, uh, if you able to use it fully, you can uh, put this as a formula or functions. Okay, it's similar to your uh, mathematical or program structure. Okay, you, you can calculate the sum, you can calculate the average, you can calculate the numbers of input. Okay, so for instance, in this case, the sum will calculate if F9 is and F38 is equal to G22. Okay, G22 or G44 is this one, one, two, three, four, and then they will calculate it per percentage here. Okay. Uh, so normally student will use this one, uh, or the when you are working will use this one to make it process. Okay. Well, any questions? Uh, 
to PR1, each of their own reference and table of content. How to compile all three reports together in easier way with only one table of content and one reference at the end. Okay, uh, that one normally we can uh, their own reference and table con of content. Okay, so for reference, normally we use uh, another methods. Okay, normally for referencing or citation, I think citations. Okay, for citation, we use uh, what we call as uh, citation software. Forwards. Okay, uh, we normally we use Mendeley. Mendeley. Okay, for Mendeley is for the reference management. Okay, especially for referencing. Uh, this one is for referencing. For content, then you can use my methods. Okay, uh, it is easier to do that one. Okay. Each have their own reference and table content. How to compile? Normally, if you compile all the three points, normally the program will only, uh, if it is one in one for software, then it is no problem. But if it is in multiple software, then they will need some more macros to do that. Okay. But for reference, normally the researcher or the lecturer will ask you to use Mendeley or any other types of so, okay, but I'm currently using manually lah for my reference. Okay. Uh, and next, uh, so this is about my Excel. Okay. Not much can talk about Excel because it is only used if you are using uh, data for your program. Okay. So next is your PowerPoint. Okay. So especially PowerPoint is very interesting because nowadays everything have their own templates. Okay. So if you are trying to work, so you need to make a resume, right? So you can use this uh, team, okay? Especially in Microsoft Word 365, uh, we have our software. So for instance, if you want to make a resume, you can search for resume here. Okay. And then you have this typical international infographic type, infographic resume or timeline resume, especially uh, but I hope that you differentiate between resume and CV. Okay, curriculum vitae and anything. So if you have this one, so this is the benefit of using PowerPoint. Okay, you can design or you don't have to buy because nowadays uh, some students uh, sell their resume templates. Okay, so if you can see that if you know that PowerPoint also have their own template for resume and why not applications. Okay, you can write down your, your picture, you have your picture basically resume is just a one piece of paper that tell you or summarize all your achievements okay normally starting from SPM okay you don't have to make it as before secondary SPM is okay SPM and until your working experience stuff and you it better to put your part-time job okay as even if you're working as a McDonald's uh, counters uh, worker and whatnot, okay, you can use this one. Okay, personal info, contact info, and normally for, or for FIP presentations, we also ask the student to use PowerPoint and save it as, uh, for instance, the size of the project can be either A1, A2, or A0. We normally A0 and A1. We say the A0 or A1, but typically it's A1 for your uh, project report. But I'm not sure whether the coronavirus will allow the student to come to Uniten to publish their poster. Okay. But and then if you are using this one, you need to make sure that you save this one as a PDF. Okay. Uh, PDF if you want to print. Before you print, you need to save the file as a PDF. Okay. Uh, okay. Then you can change all this one. Okay. All the symbol is here. You can change the symbol and everything. Of course, you can make it as fancy as you can. Okay. This one, everything is a block of pictures. It's just that you need to use this one, the picture, the drawing board. Here, how to draw. You can draw a blood blog and you can crop even you can crop the pictures okay now this everything is uh, this is uh, square and then you can change the layout to a uh, circle or triangle and whatnot okay of course you can change this one okay 
insert, uh, shapes, icon, charts, new command, symbol, recordings, designs, transition, animations, okay. Uh, if you are like, like permission, of course you can. This one is also similar to Prezi, okay. Prezi.com, if you are using online versions, okay. Uh, Prezi, you can use this one. Prezi. Presentations, uh, to make your presentation much more interactive. Okay, much more interactive for you can use, uh, see the symbol, uh, best Prezi presentation ever, CEO presentation, uh, image. Okay, it's just that, please make sure that when you are using your presentations, okay, don't put so many words. If you put so many words, please make sure that you highlight the key point, key area or key element of your presentations. Okay. Uh, this is uh, getting your PowerPoint. Okay. Well, oh, I'm only this one, so I need to make it faster. Okay. And then Google Drive. So as you can see that most of the tasks of the job need to be sent because everybody nowadays is working from homes. So everything must have their own Google Drive or uh, cloud storage. Okay. In Unit 10, we ask the students either using uh, OneDrive or Google Drive. Okay, so the because Google Drive has, even though it is limited, but the storage is very big. Okay, so you can go to the Google, for instance, my Google Drive, Google Search, Google Form. Okay, just paste here, Google Drive. Oh, now they change all the logos. Okay, uh, everything regarding the, the Google change because I think I hope the contact and YouTube will change also. Okay, so Google Drive is where you can store all the informations. For me, it is better to have multiple cloud storage base. Okay, because uh, currently I have my Google Drive as 15 gigabyte use, 13.6 gigabyte to 15 gigabyte use, because especially if you are working for your final year projects, because my, when I'm, Writing my reports in Germany, sometimes uh, uh, there is some cases uh, of my colleague, they forgot to save or their laptop corrupted. Or um, in my case, my laptop, uh, my uh, co my coffee spilled on my laptop, so the laptop cannot be accessed and cannot be opened. So it is better for you guys if you are FYP or PR two or PR three, if you you have a multiple cloud storage. Pot. For me, I have my uh, Google Drive, I have my Dropbox. Okay, this is my Dropbox. My Dropbox space is currently is 20 gigabyte or 18.61 of 20 gigabyte. So, okay, this is also nearly full. Okay, and I have also multiple Google uh, Dropbox and multiple Google Drive to store all my necessities. Okay, because uh, as because even though Unitem provide their own server to install or to save all the documents, but please don't trust the system too much. Okay, you need to have multiple uh, safety precautions, uh, multiple security. Okay, even my laptop have their own uh, Google Drive. Okay, and even even the Google Drive is not secure. I also have my own external hard disk. Okay, to provide. Okay, so this is my Windows, SD is 1 to 5 gigabyte and my D is 1000 uh, terabyte. Okay, so I have my Google Drive here. Okay, one drive here. Okay, so it is better to have a multiple cloud-based storage device. Okay. Uh, so, of course, you also, uh, so now my new version of cloud storage is the mega versions. Okay mega.nz account fund uh, this one mega.nz uh, account slash plan okay this one mega have about 30, uh, 50 gigabyte data okay i can store about 50 uh, gigab gigabit okay uh, so this one uh, of course if you are fully utilizing the cloud base then you can buy the if you have money then you can buy the 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 more more uh, professional or advanced quota lah. okay okay next i have my photo my wall uh, oh photoshop and lightroom 
Okay, this one is typically used for your pictures because my my hobbies is Photoshop and Lightroom. Okay, I think I I don't have enough time to explain this one Photoshop, but I will show you one example just to show you one example of this one Lightroom. Okay, wait, second. Oh, you can ask any questions. What format of referencing do we use? Okay. Uh, basically, for that types of question, it depends on you, on your lecturer. Okay, we have uh, we have so many types of referencing. Okay, we can use IEEE version. We have um, there is so many types of referencing. So no, normally, if you want to use the want to ask that, you need to ask your lecturer about what types because there are so many types of referencing methods. Okay. Okay, this is my pictures. Okay, where can I see? Oh, I can use this one. I think so. Just to share you. Uh, okay, so some of the uh, Lightroom. So, okay, this is my work. Okay, my hobby. So, this is my friend picture. Okay. The benefit of the slide room basically is normally what the photographer use for your light room. Okay, the, the best part of light room is similar to your filter effect in your apps. Okay, it's just that light room is the before the filter effect use. Okay, so we can use this one and then we can develop this one. Normally, you can have multiple layout. Okay, especially if you have picture of your product, prototype and everything, but this one I don't have. I have my model photography, so you can use split version to make it louder, this one, okay, tone curve. So you can use this one. So normally Lightroom can install any preset that you have. Okay, okay so for instance, uh, reset. Okay, so this is the picture. Okay, oh, so it, can select another picture okay so this one will have their own color coding and then you want to change the toning you is on the right hand side okay uh, sharpening normally for picture model we increase the noise to make the faces more smooth okay noise reduction sharpening okay then we have like a sharp image of this picture. Okay, this is the Lightroom. So of course, nowadays all the pictures or uh, software can be find or search online. It's just that you need to find how to crack the software. Okay, for photography or image, we normally use Affinity because it's much more cheaper than Adobe. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'm using uh, Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop. If you have money, then you can buy the retail versions. Okay. Okay. So this is regarding your Lightroom. Of course, you can also apply this one for your prototype and change some of the uh, picture of your products. Okay. And then we also have Photo My Wall and Canvas. I normally use Photo My Wall for my poster events. Okay. It's easier for you to have knowledge of everything. For instance, if you want to uh, sell your product online, so you can use a photo manual to uh, show. Okay. For instance, if you want to make a project poster, you can use photo manual or canvas. Okay, so this is my picture. So this is my program. Okay, so and then of course they also have their Instagram photos and everything. For instance, uh, Facebook photos. You can search all this one. Bidin, Harris, Word for Anna. This one is YouTube channel arts. If you uh, want to join your YouTube streamings, then you can use this one to promote your uh, channel. Okay, yeah, they have so many uh, templates here that you can use. Okay, uh, PUBG, 
uh, for instance you, you want to make a poster of a uh, poster of among us competition okay. is it possible okay uh, or among us competition okay no among us Uh, then they can search online and then you can, can just adjust the template or the pictures. Okay. Oh, I think because you know, the, everything is uh, follow us on social media. This is if you want to use. Uh, okay. Typically uh, for poster design, okay, just a small tips for poster design. It is please make sure that there is only two or three font type of You don't use more than okay. Bad news network quality. Can you guys hear me now? So you are okay? just now. Oh, okay. Now it's okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so I just continue with my presentations. Okay, so this is... Uh, so again, I, I just... Uh, first because some of you will be tasked to make a poster for your project or your competition or your uh, program. Okay, it is wise to put at least um, at minimum or at maximum three font type per poster. Please don't use more than that. Okay, it's better if you are using current, uh, if you're using one type, it's okay. Okay, so this one is everything is in one type balloon. Okay, okay just play around with the size and then the different the type of uh, distance between two of two picture font. Okay, and then play around with the symbol. Uh, then you can just follow us on so for instance follow us on social media then you can just type this is unit program close for us on unit yeah. unit ig or facebook okay uh, control z this one is your Yuli program, right? Brush up. Brush up. Oh, brush up this, okay. And then this is uh, the canvas part. Okay. And then, oh, of course, uh, if you just, because uh, I will cover this one only five minutes, five minutes or two minutes, two minutes per topic. So this is StreamYard. Okay. So next is the StreamYard. So StreamYard basically is used to streamline or for Facebook or YouTube live streaming. Okay, so this is my Facebook. You can normally this is my account. Okay, so you can buy the StreamYard version or you can just uh, use uh, free versions. Okay, I think uh, in return some of the student is already using the StreamYard to sh share the live streaming of PPI program or the GJCCU. I think some of these. Program. So for instance, I can use this create a broadcast. You can publish it via Facebook, you can YouTube, or you can add new decision. You can publish it in a Facebook page or Facebook group. If it is private, then you can uh, Facebook page. Okay, you can Facebook group. And then you can also via Twitch. Normally, students can either use StreamYard or OBS. Okay. Uh, but for me, it is easier to use StreamYard because it can allow me to add more or you can ask the another person to join me just using the link provided. Okay, so you can just click here. Okay, so this is my StreamYard version. Of course, I cannot show everything because uh, this one will be linked to my uh, speaker and mic. 
So I just can enter the broadcast. Okay, you can just type in just to share some of the benefit of using this uh, stream yet. So you can uh, look at the comment online. Yeah, online and then you can adjust the banner. Okay, you can adjust the banner. Some banner is something like this. Or you can make it as a ticker. Ticker meaning you can uh, make it work, working here. Flowing. You can put normally uh, in in news you can put the account numbers and whatnot and everything and then for brand names okay of course the brand name normally is used because of course if you are using free version this powered by StreamYard will be there okay then you can know that the the organizer is using StreamYard a free StreamYard versions okay so normally we can change to a logo your logo and then we can use this uh, overlay Okay, if you are using standby mode. Okay, um, you can use uh, background. Okay, you can make it uh, intro versions. Okay, something like this. There's is some videos before you start or you can make a countdown. Okay. Something like that. Okay, this is uh, one example. And then you can also have private chat with among your people inside here. Okay, of course, if you are not connected, then you need to be connected here. So this one is mainly for your backstage people here. Okay. Normally this one have a one day class. Okay, it's because I just only show you the basic of the activity types. Okay. Next, uh, same year you have your Grammarly. Grammarly is normally to use the grammar to check, especially if you are using uh, uh, your project. Okay, projects. So you need to recheck your grammar. So because, for instance, this is my my paper conference. Okay, so instance this one. Okay, the program, the computer will check my grammar uh, and to see whether it is okay or not. In some cases, you can check whether you want to check uh, to set it as scientific, academic, formal or informal. Okay. Okay. So for instance, so this one I have only one title. Okay. So I select a much more. Uh, okay. So for instance, this is my conference tablet. Okay. Uh, then the computer will set whether you want to make it general, knowledgeable or expert. Okay. And then you need to make it formal, informal or neutral. Of course, for report, you need to make it as formal. For domain, you need to set this academy. Of course, you need to go for premium to customize this point. This part, or you can set it as creative. Okay. But now it's just okay to make it expert, formal and general. And then I think this one general optimistic or analytical, confident analytical, and then this one done. Okay, and then the computer will find and fix your program. Okay, without uh, the need to go to prof profit. Okay, so because of course everything is here can be seen. But for premium, it is uh, so for students, the tips is that you just copy paste one paragraph per paragraph to check your grammar, okay, before you send it to your supervisor, okay. Hmm. Nanti dia check lah, this one require, why require? So this one require or requires? Okay, automatic change and comma and, okay, so some of this uh, can be fixed here, okay, at the student or a students, okay, so we can fix the grammar here, okay. So normally I send this uh, to grammar first, grammarly first, and then after that I send it to my supervisor to double check to grammar. Okay, uh, this one is one of the uh, software that is it is required by the student or any other people that is working. On. Okay, of course if you want to send a formal email, then you can use this one. Okay, and the next one, the next one, this one I can. Okay, this one is Quillbot. Ha, huh? Quillbot. Quillbot is a very interesting software. 
It's basically is used if you are referencing or quoting someone else work or if you want to copy paste other people work. Uh -huh. OK, so how to use this one? You just click one, but please. Please be reminded that all not all the refreshing uh, refreshing output will be usable. For instance, in this one. Being alone has a power that very few people can handle. Of course, if you need to copy paste this one and then you rephrase this one, every rephrase will give uh, different types of output. OK, so to be alone has a power as to be alone has a force, a power that a few person are, you can do it. OK. Or you can make it. Uh, so this one will go. Sometimes it will make it gibberish. OK. Or if you want to set as fluency or creativity, of course, some of these uh, modes need be need to be can be used when you sign up or you buy the premium versions. Okay, so for instance, if you copy paste from the IEEE versions, IEEE uh, papers, okay, papers dot PDF. Okay, just find any PDF or so sample purpose or conference. Uh, this is preparing. You know, Okay, just um, maybe I can search, uh, for instance, uh, PLC base project. Okay, because now the people, student like to copy paste, but they don't have the knowledge how to copy paste cleverly oh. without the need to to make your lecturer know that you are just copy. So you can just copy here. Okay, just copy paste. And then uh, later copy, control C, Fraser, control A, okay. Because if you just copy paste here, then the lecturer or the turn it in will know that this one is copy from another source. Okay, of course, if you are use the referencing part and whatnot, because everything it is easy to copy, just copy paste, right? So with this quill bot, okay, you can refresh some of the wording okay maybe you don't want to make it as uh gibberish as possible maybe some only some of the words is needed to refer so some sometimes they can change the first person to third person or second person or whatnot okay so this one will make a smart thesaurus okay so and then this one will change this one for instance the necessity change to the need for skill engineer and technicians OK, so some of the words is changed so that the Tenetine cannot see the differences between the copy version and your versions. OK, uh, so keep uh, you can familiarize this uh, with your versions. OK. OK, so you can change the standard to fluency. Of course, this one word flipper uh, more accurate less accurate, more accurate. So you can choose this one slightly. OK, to this one. OK, and then refresh. And then you just change some, uh, only some of the wood. OK, no. this is very helpful if you are using your uh, report. OK, so and then of course, after you check this one, the need of skill, and then you need to go to Grammarly to check whether the sentence makes sense or not. OK, uh, that is also OK. OK, there is one uh, uh, paraphrase and then summarizer, extension and whatnot. OK, we have found so many software that can be used here. OK, so I have this one. OK, so this is Grammarly, Quillbot and then my map. OK, some of you are required to do my map for your assignment or your project. You can use the bubbles.us. Bubble.us. Oh, okay. okay. So this is uh, Bubble.us. Basically, the software is used to make a uh, my map. Okay. So for instance, this one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I just okay, you can sign in using Google. Okay. Bubble.us. So this one. You change. Okay. Uh, because this is one. Uh, start free trial. Maybe later. Okay, 
uh, create new my maps. Okay, start here. Okay, then you can add. Okay, you can add here. You can enter here. Move the position. Then you can change this one. This one. Make it bigger like the so move around. Add another bubble to create and whatnot. Okay, you can add cancel bubbles, teams, and a bit. So now everything have this bubble for teams. So you can add this one and then you can upgrade. Okay, this is one software that can be used to make a my map because uh, my wife used this one to do her assignment for making my map for the course. Okay. Another method of using this one, because we also have draw.io to make any types of uh, design, for instance, flowchart. Okay, flowchart, normally for engineer, we are required to do flowchart for our uh, methodology chapter. Okay, you can use this one. So this one have basic business charts. Okay, my map engineering flowchart, uh, circuit, circuitry, ladder diagram flowchart. Okay. Uh, this one create enter you can also networking and everything okay so save uh, test thing for Yuli. okay and then you can use this one but please make sure that you know the symbol purposes of diamond what is the process of diamond what is the purposes of rounded uh, rectangles and you can add this yes and no versions because if you are using Word, sometimes the uh, flowchart will not look so nice. Okay, and then you can save this one as PDF or JPEG. Okay, and then you can store it in different or attach this one. Normally, this one is saved in a A4 format. Okay, so this one is also called as flowchart design product IO. Okay. And then you can of course share this one to your friend and colleague. Okay. And finally, do you think it is appropriate for me to put animation in my slide when I'm creating a slide for an official meeting? Okay. Oh, later. I will answer that later. Okay. And I'm doing because I have three more minutes to, to show this one. Okay, so this one, uh, so please make sure that you understand the purposes of curly brackets, rounded rectangle, headings, okay, and then you can put labels or heading here, okay, for your projects, okay. And then this internal storage, uh, cube, step one, step two, okay, you are trapezoid, parallelogram, and anything else, uh, miss, okay. Can add more advanced version flowchart and everything. Okay, uh, because sometimes the lecturer really really want to look at your flowchart to understand your methodology process. Okay, what is the first step? Okay, you need to research first. What is the first research that you want to do, and what is the first experiment that you want to execute? Okay, and then whatnot. What is the methodology, the process of this one? And everything is easier if you are using flowchart to explain the process okay especially for your final year project or any other types of uh, cost that require flowchart okay of course uh, if you are using this one as your engineer program then you can use engineering to explain the diagram the maps the networking okay now this one if you are working for cost network okay so this one Test unit two. If you want to uh, to show your customer how to do the the network purposes, you can put this here, something like this. Okay. Uh, this one is the typical symbol that is used for networking. Okay. What is this? The outside network cloud based version, going web the service and the and everything. Everything is here. And uh, is using this draw that I work. And the benefit of this one also is that you can save this via Dropbox their cloud and can share to your friend after you finish the project. And also you can uh, save this one and uh, using another computer to edit. OK, you can store save this one and then you can ask your friend to check and he or she can edit your design. Your, 
Where that? Okay, I think, uh, and then the final part is basically the need of the cloud-based storage. Okay, so again, like I said, it is very important to have a multiple cloud-based storage, especially if you are using uh, using project. Oh, you, you need to have storage, okay? Because especially if your laptop have the possibility to be lost, to be kidnapped, okay. Last time there is some one of my friend that lost her laptop in her car. Okay, the car broke. Uh, there is someone broke their car and stole the laptop. So everything for everything that is uh, everything that is required for her PhD is lost for the entire uh, starting from the first year of the research. Okay, so. So now everything is cloud-based storage. Okay, of course you will need to have your own uh, storage, but please back up your file folder, especially if you are using Finally Project. Lah. Okay, please don't take the risk of losing all your data. Okay, so now it is 401. And I think this cover the basic part of your session of the programming. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you okay. very much, sir. Anything? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir Marafi, for the meaningful and informative session just now. Now we are going to move our focus to what the audience have to say. Earlier, I have reminded our viewers that they may begin posting their questions in the comment section. Thus, we have now obtained a number of responses from the audience. And again, before I read the questions, a surprise awaits for all viewers in our event today. So make sure you stay until the end to know what the surprise is. Okay, moving on. The first question is from Shazan. Uh, sir, what app will you recommend for video editing? Oh, okay. For video editing, uh, I'm using iMovie because they have so many templates that you can use. You can use uh, Adobe Premiere, but if you are uh, Adobe Premiere, can Sony Vegas, but for me, I prefer iMovie. But if you are not familiar with iMovie, for video editing, okay, so it depends on what types of video that you want to edit. If you're just opening and closing, then I can use, there is also the app versions here. I can show you this one. Uh, this is the type of cool intro maker. This one is the movie that is, uh, the apps that is used to make a cool intro. But of course, if you everything, if nowadays everything will need to be by if you want to make a cool video. This is my simple video. Okay. And if you cannot, then you can just use Sony Vegas. Of course, everything can be cracked nowadays, right? So you can use uh, Sony Vegas, uh, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, uh, something like that. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, so the second question is from Muhammad Aiman. Sir, do you think it is appropriate for me to put animation in my slide when I am creating a slide for an official meeting? Okay, so it depends on what types of animation that you are using. If the, uh, the animation is to show the process or the flow of the engineering product, need to be made, then it is okay, meaning it is related to your uh, presentation. If the animation is just a key uh, dropping or unappropriate sound, like uh, car engine raving, something like that, then don't put so many animation. Lah, okay, just put animation that is related to your uh, meetings. Okay, it's, it is, is, of course, it is better to put animations. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay sir. And another question is from Sabrina. Good day, sir. Regarding the Photoshop, after my free trial ended, what should I do if I want to use it for a long term? Because to purchase, I don't think I could afford to commit monthly installment. Oh, okay. So it depends on what types of uh, editing that you want to use. Because uh, officially, oh, officially it is better to buy the Adobe Photoshop retail versions. If not, then you can find the Adobe Photoshop, the previous version, not the latest one, the CS3, CS5. I think most of the Adobe Photoshop, the previous Photoshop version have their own uh, crack that can be used. Okay. Of course, that is uh, color. Please don't use it as the for your business. If you're using the Photoshop for make it as a photography studio and whatnot, okay. But for free or for hobbies, then it's okay, okay. Uh, if you uh, that, but there is an, another option that if you want to use Adobe Photoshop, you can use Adobe Design or Adobe, uh, not Adobe Design, the Affinity, Affinity software. Uh, Affinity software is much more cheaper it's just 199 per lifetime it's similar to adopt uh, illustrator adopt illustrator similar to affinity design for adopt photoshop is similar to affinity photos uh. okay so uh, from sabrina again any similar software to ps oh okay uh. Any self, so okay, it's better for me to show you the software that I am uh, speaking of. Okay, it's called uh, uh, called Affinity. Even the Adobe, because people understand that Adobe Photoshop is very expensive, especially when they require monthly subscription. So we, the professional nowadays, even me, I'm uh, working toward this Affinity. So basically, this one, uh, Affinity Publisher is uh, publishing so the cost is 199 rm it's much more cheaper than the other photoshop so affinity photo is similar to other photoshop okay and it is some cases is better than adopt photoshop okay and for adopt illustrator we use affinity design okay especially you need to understand that adopt photoshop is using uh bit and auto point the printer is uh um point okay but uh, affinity design or illustrator using vectors to make our design or the illustrator much more easier or much more sharper when we print the output and of course everything need to be safe in pdf if you want to print out the output or any types of uh, type of file that can use okay normally pdf Okay, so uh, the next question is from Muhammad Aiman. Do you recommend using Canva, which has a lot of variety of design or PowerPoint, which is more convenient when I am ma making my slide? Uh, basically, for Canva, okay, it's just up to you because uh, I'm not using Canva, so it doesn't mean that you don't have to use it. You can use it, no problem. It's just my, my preference is that I'm using uh, Photoshop and I can use my photo my wall to edit all the design that I want to use. And of course for PowerPoint, uh, normally you can use Prezi or a you can use any other types of software that you want. It's okay. It's up to you which co more convenient you. Uh, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, another question is from Lee Sui Kiong. Good day, sir. May I know how you learn to use Adobe Photoshop? For my case, I know how to use all the basic functions, but I would like to learn more advanced settings and more, more advanced things. Oh, OK. Uh, this is interesting because I start using Adobe Photoshop when I'm in my degree. OK, because previously, uh, because I'm in Germany, because in Germany, I'm living alone. So you can feel the stress of living alone, right? Staying alone. Okay, so my methods of learning the Adobe Photoshop is using YouTube. And of course, I also 
um, mainly is YouTube and try to explore my own because the the method that I'm using is that if you learn using YouTube, you try to apply as soon as possible what you have learned. Okay, you learn about masking and then you learn about the opacity and whatnot and change the ratio, the pictures, okay, the, the, the black and white, the white balance and everything. So for me, I learn using YouTube and of course uh, some of the Facebook page, Facebook group, ah, okay. Uh, another question is from Nur Maisara. Hello, sir. May I ask, as a lecturer, do you emphasize the de design or interactiveness of a presentation or assignment, or does it learn more on to the contents of the presentation? Thank you, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, for these questions, uh, because because nowadays uh, everything is online. Okay, and then the lecturer will look your powerpoint okay because the sometime the content is similar to your friends so the lecturer will try to find some niche or uh, design because even uh, there is an there is a rubric to count about the design interactive okay the meaning the design the color the color balancing of your poster there are some point that is uh, attached to that uh, rubrics. Okay, it's just not the content. So there is so many rubrics about your presentation that will be counted. Okay, sir. Thank you. On uh, this is the question from Ahmad Nazim. Good afternoon, sir. I have question. Let's say I have three reports: PR one, PR two, and PR three. Each have their own reference and table of content how to compile all three reports together in easier way with only one tablet content and one reference at the end oh this one i thought i asked i answered this already okay never mind my uh, first uh, it's easy if you put it the report in one files okay to make one uh, table of contents and then for referencing it's better to use mendeley for the reference point. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, the next question is from Nurul Nadira. Sir, do we need to install antivirus software for our laptop or PC or the Windows Defender is sufficient enough? Oh, okay. So this part uh, is better to install additional antivirus software because Windows Defender is not enough, basically. Because uh, you need to, especially you need to have the internet, internet defender, internet security, antivirus. Okay, because there are so many antivirus now. There, the one we will be between the computer and computer, and also the internet. Computer. Okay. Ah, uh, so please install antivirus. Except you are using uh, Apple, then you don't need to install antivirus software. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, this is the last question, I think, uh, from Ibrahim. Sir, Affinity is more similar to Adobe Illustrator, right? No, Affinity is similar to Adobe. Uh, the Affinity is basically is similar to Adobe. And Affinity Design is similar to Adobe Illustrator. And Affinity Photo is similar to Adobe Photoshop. Okay, sir. Thank you. And this is the question, another question from Izzat Aris. Good afternoon, sir. In your opinion, what is the easiest one to read on screen and paper? And which one is the most suitable for assignment writing? Okay, this one, uh, this one have an uh, issue, even the ITPE picture. Uh, so sometimes they ask, uh, sometimes they prefer Calibri, sometimes they prefer Times New Roman. Okay, uh, because the Calibri uh, is the new font that want to be used, but in normal cases, Times New Roman. Okay, you can find the, for instance, I type a E font, uh, size latex. So normally for I type a E, they use uh, 
uh, what I call it as time stream format, I think. Or you can use Arial. Okay, just not, please don't use any fancy font. Okay, like uh, comics, comic science. Okay, please use the Arial or Times to Romans, okay, or Calibri, it's okay. Or it's better if your if your lecture have a specific font, please use that specific font. If not, then you can use the normal version, okay. And you can download the font if you for your design. You can use the font or any other types of font online that you can download. Okay, sir, thank you. Uh, we have another question from my Sarah. Hello, sir. I am a person who loves reading books, but most <laughs> online books are purchased based on Facebook and are not free. May I ask where I can find a similar place to read books, textbook, or find research based articles that are free and also good at the same time? Oh, this one. Oh, okay. I am a person. Oh, online books are need to be purchased. Eh? Hmm. Because nowadays everything can be fine online as long as you know where to find it. Maybe we can try to search out your book that you want to do. Normally you can just write down the Google inside Google. So for instance, my fundamental of electrical secretary, just put PDF at the end then you can find the PDF version of the one that you want. It's just that normally the PDF versions the free PDF version is the version that is the not the latest one, the previous version. Uh, for instance, uh, the Sranjaya Tenaga National, uh, Sranjaya Tenaga Pandawan Electric, you can find the PDF versions for the 2008 version, but you cannot find the 2015 versions. Okay, everything can be found in your uh, online, via online. Of course, the the best or the appropriate or the formal one will be need to buy the purchase or purchase retail version of the books. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Sir Rafi, for your valuable responses to the questions, ladies and gentlemen. That was the last of the string of the questions from our viewers to the speaker. Unfortunately, we have reached the climax of today's session. On behalf of the program management, I would like to thank our speaker for joining us today and also providing us precious talks on today's topic. And for the audience, we would like to extend our utmost gratitude for making time to join us via our live session. We also appreciate your interaction with us today by your questions to the comment section and also the meeting room. Furthermore, do ensure that you register your participations in the link pin in our comment section to obtain your score, your score run points. And also, there you will find a question on why is computer literacy vital in today's world. You may choose to answer the question and for the best three answers, a cash prize of RM10 awaits the winner. The winners will be announced through our official BrushUp Instagram page at BrushUp underscore ULIT after the program ends. So be sure to answer the question wholeheartedly for you to win the prize. Before ending today's event, I would like to invite Sir Ahmad Rafiq to give his closing remarks, hopes and dreams for the future and also a few words of encouragement to our future professionals during, joining us today. Okay, so my summary uh, for this session is basically for you guys to explore as much as possible during your time in the university in during the degree program. Because when you are working, you don't have much time to explore the knowledge that outside of your working area. Okay. Uh, for me, like I said, I am learned the Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and everything before I'm working. And then after that, I just implement everything that I already know. OK, so I try to explore because uh, like, like I said, it is everything is lifelong learning. OK, it's just not at the end of your time. OK, because everything need to be learn learn and learn again even now this i also learn how to use the streaming uh, facebook stream facebook live 
and the affinity uh, because affinity is the new version of Adobe Photoshop. So that one was so new to me, about two, three years. Okay, so because kalau Adobe Photoshop is about 10 years, so Adobe Affinity is uh, new, two years. So try to explore more, maybe because uh, you can, later you can teach it your student or your son and daughter. Lah, later. Okay. Thank you very much, Serafik, for your words of encouragement. Before going, I would like to thank the organizing team behind today's event, YTN, UNITN, and also College of Engineering for allowing us to use ULIT as a platform to introduce undergraduates and other individuals with a variety of soft and professional skills in which they can utilize in the future working environment and at the same time, gain new discovered knowledge to help build and groom characters in search of self-betterment. Thank you very much, Serafik and audience, for a remarkable time today. Hope to see you all in a brush-up upcoming session. I'm Nur Azan Binti Abdullah, your host for today. Signing off. Farewell and stay safe. Okay, bye. bye.